Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm now on vlog 35. This is an interesting vlog because I started this back in late January when I had this madcap idea that I would clean and sand down to the bare wood the dining room chairs. Tom suggested that I tried this out with the old carver chair that went with these four chairs so with that I went off and I stripped it back and he was satisfied that the job was well done and he, he liked what I'd done and so I went on to start um, doing the very same thing to all the dining room chairs. As I progressed with the chairs it was evident that he was really happy with what I was achieving and every chair that was done I would bring in show him and yes he was fine it was exactly what he envisaged um, also he told me how he would like them finished and that was to be waxed although I do feel that um, a coat of clear a matte finished um, polyurethane would be better anyway moving on now i get to the last chair and this is where i thought i'd start filming otherwise you would just be so bored with all the chairs that i've 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 managed to um clean and achieve so one thing that he did say to me that having made such a good job of the first dining room chair that when it came to the time he would um he would allow me to buy the very fabric that I wanted and he loved as well. Sadly, um, Tom passed away last month on the 26th of June, having had a very, very short um, fight with the angiosarcoma, which had led to him having his left leg removed above the knee in order to save the cancer from going elsewhere. We always knew that there was a likelihood that the cancer would come back, but I don't think any of us, or Tom and I, were prepared for the suddenness of this cancer returning. So this vlog is special to me because it very much had his input right from January um, on how he envisaged the chairs to be when they were finished and we both agreed that this particular fabric which is actually a William Morris fabric was entirely the right fabric to cover the seat pads. So I'll introduce you now to the chairs. The first still is of the chairs with the carver done and you can see the darkness um, of the dining room chair which had been the carver chair as well so I'll leave you to enjoy this vlog it very much is much touches my heart and I know that Tom would be absolutely blown away with what I've managed to do with these chairs to make our dining well our kitchen table set look absolutely perfect Anyway, I will leave you now to watch how I managed the last chair in the set of four and the final covering of the chair pads.
having sanded down now, I'm taking it outside and I'm going to give it a coat of oxalic acid. Now this acid will bleach the wood for me um, and once it's bleached and it's dried, then what you do is you have to wash it down in order to neutralise the acid. So I'll get on with that now. see the bleach is working bringing back to the bare wood and then once she's dried I will as I said before I will have to wash her but once she's done I've then got to address that corner there and these corners here to try and close them up so they're all completed now um, but there are still some areas I'm not very happy with on one or two of the chairs. So I'm going to take them back into the workshop and I'm going to get them tidied up. And then um, all I've got to do is give them a polyurethane coating. For this next bit, I'm staying in the workshop because I'm removing staples out of the cushion pads. So I'll get on with that now strip off the old fabric and get them ready for the new fabric to go on. everything completed for the four chairs so I'll bring the chairs round and I'll put the sh cushion pads in place and that's a job well done so there we go they're finished I'm absolutely thrilled to pieces I've managed to get the pattern fairly good on the seat pads but I'm absolutely over, moon, over the moon. Um, this is just how I imagine them to turn out. So I'm going to say goodbye now and I hope to see you all on the next vlog. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this little vlog. Okay, bye for now.